Hey there, my name is Erica Von Kleist and I'm the author of A Cool Approach to Jazz Theory, a step-by-step -step guidebook that helps beginning improvisers understand the basics of jazz harmony and chords. This video is supplemental to chapter three, triads. As you know from reading the book, a triad is a chord with three notes in it. There are lots of different triads out there, but for right now, we're gonna check out major triads and minor triads. When you're hearing a chord or a song that's in a major key, chances are that song sounds pretty happy. Happy. If you're hearing a song or a chord that's minor, it might sound a little sad to you. If you checked out chapter two in the book, you know all about melodic numbers. These melodic numbers help you transpose melodies from one key to another. Well, we're gonna use those melodic numbers to deal with chords. The melodic numbers for chords act like a formula. The formula for the chord stays the same and can be used for any chord. In this case, the formula for a major triad is one, three, five. That's the one, the three and the five of a major scale. If we're dealing with a C major chord, for instance, the one is C, the three is E, and the five is G. There's our C major chord. Let's check out an E flat major chord. Well, we know E flat in the E flat major scale is one. The three is G. The five is, if you said B flat, you're right. One, three, five. E flat major. Let's do one more. A major. A is one in the A major scale. Three is C sharp. Five is E. One, three, five an A major triad. You also know from reading the chapter that minor triads function very similarly except one note in that triad formula is changed. Do you remember which one it is? We flat the three. When you flat a note you lower it by one half step. And if you're not sure what a half step is, think about the chromatic scale, which you probably play in concert band all the time. That scale is made entirely of half steps. So if you think to yourself, flatting a note is just the next note down in the chromatic scale, you'll be golden. Let's go back to our E flat major triad. One, three, five of the E flat major scale. But we wanna make it minor. So we're gonna flat that three. We start with our one, which is E flat. Our three is G, but to flat it, we make it G flat. And our five is B flat. Here's our E flat minor triad. Bingo. Let's go back to our A major triad. One was A, three was C sharp, Five is E. There's our happy major triad. But to do minor, we need to flat the three. C sharp, which is the three, then becomes C flat? No. C sharp becomes C natural. Because C natural is one half step below C sharp. So here's our A minor triad. A, C, E. One flat three five. It's easy as that. Don't forget to do the exercises in the back of the chapter. That'll help you learn everything a whole lot better. Visit jazztheoryiscool.com for more information on a cool approach to jazz theory. My name's Erica Von Kleist, and thanks for watching.